Help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. Right now, we have uh, Shiguru Miyaki from Quantum Operation Inc. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you guys do over there. Hi, 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 Chris. Hey, hey. Yeah. And... Um... Uh, I, I'm from Japan, yeah, and it's like 9.30 now, so it's small. Oh. But yeah, but we, we are quantum, quantum operation, and we are the IoT startup and based in Japan, and we have uh, this, we are creating these wearable devices yeah, instead. Oh, yeah, cool. And sorry, it's in, Jap I, it's in Japanese, but so you can measure like, temperature, steps, uh, heart rate, uh, blood pressure, and SpO2. Oh, wow. And this is a uh, breathing rate. And we are here at CES to, uh, because we in innovated uh, non invasive uh, blood, blood glucose sensors, yeah, which is, uh, which is not uh, having gone out from, um, uh, to, to the world. It will, it, it will be the World's first blood glucose sensor as a non invasive. Yeah, so we innovated this, and that's why we are here for the CES. And uh, but now that's really interesting technology. I know quite a few people uh, who have to regularly prick their finger, things like that, to get yes, their yeah. blood glucose. I don't want you to get too proprietary in your technology, mm -hmm. uh, but that's pretty revolutionary to have a non invasive uh, blood glucose measurement. Is that done by a CO2 level? Um, how are you guys going about uh, getting that data? Uh, can I see a slide, slide for that? It's pretty simple. Like you, you, you emit the light into your blood, and like you get a light back, back from the blood. Yeah, you okay. re re reflected it, and uh, the light is like have a certain wavelength, which can which can be absor absor absorbed by like blood, blood, uh, blood glucose. Yeah. Okay. So absorb ab absorb light. Uh, it com com comes back from uh, this blood. So there's a difference between these these two lights and either absorbed by blood glucose or not. So we we somehow cal calculate in the far far way, yeah. And right. we 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 get a number of blood blood glucose. That's a system, yeah. And and how accurate is this measurement system right now? Is this something that y'all have just just now launching out on the market? Is it currently available, coming available? Um, to be honest, we uh, just created a prototype, yeah. Okay. And we we have good result with the uh, in-house test, but we have to go into the like, clinical trial in Japan, sure. and we are plan planning to do that in a few months, yeah. So it will be like several tri trials and yeah. we have to do and it's going to take more few more years. But yeah, we are hoping to get a get good result with it. Yeah. yeah and especially being able to put it into a wearable uh, really kind of brings it into the pre-existing market, you know, mm -hmm. where as long as as long as uh, whatever wearable you have has the proprietary sensors in order to do this or um you know matching sensors would be able to do it so uh is this proprietary to your system is it something that could be married with other existing technology is that a route that you guys are looking at presently um so it can be connected with like apple application yeah like um like this okay on the smartphones and this these data can be like uh, connect with, um, say, like I IoT, IoT electricity devices. So it can can be can 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 do something like new, yeah. With yeah. Uh, I I don't I don't know like connect connect with like TVs and like music and and you get okay. a feeling from the vitals and you 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 just put us uh, the the electricity put out like. Wow. 
like classic music for for their feelings here, which sure. is get from the vitals. So it can can be done, but it's like pretty new technology. So we yeah. have to make a method methodology for that. But it's a kind of dream, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, and I mean that's just it. Uh, with with this technology coming about, and like you said, already going to medical trial there in Japan. Yeah. Um, which, which of course, like any good country, Japan has, you know, you got to pass a few rounds of medical trials, that kind of yeah. stuff. I know yeah. American FDA is like out of control with some of that stuff. <laughs> um, but what, what is your expected to market right now? Sorry. What is, what is your expected to market date right now? Do y'all have a projection of like a year and a half before things are available on market uh, in Japan or I something like that? Uh, so for for these wearable devices, uh, like it's it's like a difference between like medical usage and uh, healthcare usage, which means yeah. for we wellness things. Yeah. So for wellness things, uh, it's gonna be take like shorter time to go out to the market, and we are, we are hoping to uh, provide to you guys in within a year or oh wow year year more. So. Uh, yes, that's that's what what we are aiming. But that is on the other hand, Yes, and on the other hand, like for medical things, yeah, as I said, like you have to do like several trials for that. Yeah, so it's gonna yeah. take more years. But of, yes, of course, I mean, if yeah. if it's gonna tell you like what your what your dosage of insulin should be, yeah, yeah it's gonna be a yeah. totally different realm of yes, product yes, and yes. testing and mm -hmm. everything else than something that just says. This is your known blood sugar level. Yeah. So, so and for, for wellness, we yeah. it can be like going to like exercising and something like that, sure. which is which is kind of less uh, the the exactness of yeah. le less yeah. uh, a less stringent process yeah, less and a little bit less controlled. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So, because it, so once we, again, you aren't giving that medical advice of dosage anything mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, so if we it, it might it might be able to with like tendency and yeah, not the exact sure. number. Yeah, so sure. We but we are looking for both, yeah. This is this is really fantastic to know that this kind of stuff is coming out on market that you guys mm. are it, it's so close to release because there are so many people worldwide that need a product like this. Uh, yes, there are uh -huh. so many people that uh, would love to get the help that they need, but sometimes that that fear of a needle just keeps them mm. from getting it. You know. Yes, that, that's um, true. That that that's why we are here. Yeah, and yeah. I, I see these children with type one diabetes, and we have, I, I, as you as you said, you they have to like stick the needle yeah. into the yeah. You gotta like, be with, you gotta be comfortable with somebody coming at you with a needle a couple times yeah. a day. Yes, and like it's like twenty times a day every yeah. year or whole of their lives yeah so yeah. That, that's why why we are here to help help these children or people suffering with diabetes yeah, so, yeah. well Shiguru, thank you so much for your time yeah. this is so amazing uh tell everybody where they can go to find out more about quantum operation inc where they can go to help fund you guys to help you guys do research uh whatever um i've got a little paper here <laughs> <laughs> I love it. There you go. Up um, a little bit higher. Oh, 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 there you uh, go. LinkedIn, yeah. My my name's Grubiaki, and you 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 might search for quantum operation, and this is our, our website address. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, once again, thank you so much for taking the time out uh, here, yeah. closing out our broadcast for CES 2021. We have a couple more people in the studio. Thank you so much once again, Suguru, for your Thank time. You yeah, bye. I hope you enjoyed that interview. And if you did, make sure you check out some of the more than 100 interviews we conducted during the virtual CES 2021 coverage. And of course, subscribe here on YouTube, hit the notification bell to learn when we post new content and when we go live.